Hello everyone, I'm Helen. As requested by many of you, today I'm going to show you Ivy's cloud-based auto slicer. This is the slicer that Joe Tanning from 3D Printing Nerd used when he was testing our prototype in January. After login, you will see your name here on the top right and there are three sections. Let's take a look at the printer section. Right now, I have two IVs connected to my account. Printer number one is the one that I'm going to use for demonstration today because printer number two is working at the moment. On this page, there are three sections. Print control section is for you to control the printer when it's working. Movement control section is for you to control to move the XYZ axis in a certain direction. Let's take a look. And the last section is for you to control the filament and temperature. Now let's move on to the models section. These are some of the models that we have tested so far. There are a few hundreds of them. This interface has most of the basic functions we need and we have been using it for about half a year we will keep optimizing it so don't worry this is not how it will look like when you receive your IV if you have printed this model before you will see the previous G code and all the settings in this section and you can preview the mold the model here if you want to make changes to the settings you can do it in this section including the quality the shell the infill the material the speed and everything else if you want to upload a new model Tap this new design button and upload the STL or OBG file. And with this choice, it means that every cloud can fix some errors of the model, like the printing position. As you can see, the printing position of the Statue of Liberty is definitely not right at the moment, and I want Ivy to fix it. Let's take a look. And this is how it looks like after Ivy has fixed it. Let's try another one. With this motor cover, you can print it like this, but if printed with this position, there are a lot of support needed and it will take a longer time. And let's see how Ivy will fix it.
With this new printing position provided by Ivy, very little support is needed, and the surface finish will be very smooth. Now let's try one more and have it printed. This is how it looks like after Ivy has fixed it, the printing position. And because Ivy has a cloud, because Ivy has a closed loop system, I'll use a higher speed to save the time. And this is the G code here. You can check if there is any problem. Now I will tap print and let Ivy do the rest. That's all for today. Thank you very much. If you like this update, please share with your friends or leave your comments below. Bye!
了手机。嗯嗯、手机放上。